Okay, we're going to move on fairly swiftly now, and there's not a better comic to, to finish uh, off with, and uh, he's an Aussie comic. He's doing two shows at the Fringe, one of which is free, one of which you've got to pay for, um, and I think, I don't know which one you're doing uh, tonight, but we're going to have a little chat afterwards, yeah. <laughs> you do whatever you fancy, actually, quite honestly. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the stage, Aussie comic, John Robertson! Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Now that's what I like. Now what we're going to do, folks, we're going to have ourselves a little sing-along. And I know it's been a very long day for sing-alongs, but this one's the best one, all right? Now, what's going to happen is this. It starts off like this. Deadity, 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 dead. Because it's a fun and uplifting number. And if everyone could just do that for me on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Go. Beautiful. Now the bit after that goes stabity, 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 ow! And the ow is exceptionally loud and doing that now on the count of three. One, two, three, go! Stabity, 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 ow! Beautiful! The bit after that goes strokeity, 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 stroke. The bit after that goes Stalin, 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 Stalin. Because I should have specified uh, this is the best children's song ever written about Soviet Russia. Um, so we're all going to get involved because that's how communism works. Now here we go. Once upon a time there were three bears Their names were Lenin, Trotsky and Stalin They all lived in a giant house A giant house called Russia One day the three bears went to a party It was the Bolshevik party Everybody was invited Except the rich cars, they were all dead Go! Deadity, deadity! Beautiful when they got back from the party Lenin said to once be eating my porridge Stalin said it was Trotsky And jammed an ice pick through Trotsky's head Stabity, stabity At that point Lenin said Someone's been having a stroke in my bed Someone's been having a stroke in my bed Then he had a stroke in his bed Strokeity, strokeity so Stalin was the only bear left in Russia And Stalin had this story re-edited So he was the only bear who'd ever lived in Russia This is how the story goes Once upon a time there was Stalin There was never a time before Stalin There was only Stalin, 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 Stalin Everybody! Stalin, Stalin Just the ladies! Soviet Russia, there we go. Hello, uh, folks. John Robinson! Oh, hey! Oh, thank you! Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Rock and roll. Oh, That's tremendous. Now let's just move that out of the way. Wonderful. Now oh, sit down. Beautiful. Yes. Well, you've wanna... certainly got some en energy, mate. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> energy, just no talent. But energy, my God. <laughs> oh, how are we, darling? Is he beautiful? Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks very much. Oh, yeah, I really like... oh yeah. thanks for that. Now, Lorraine, you're not looking well. How are you? Okay, beautiful. Now, what's happening with you? Or me. Oh, Talk about sorry, me. Sorry, right, okay. I'm I was... talking to you, not at you. I'm an only child and an only man half the time, but don't worry about it. You worked with kids for five years. I did work with kids for five years. And several, now you hate them. Several of them are dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. That's in my show. I punched a kid in the face once. It was incredible. I didn't lose my job or get arrested either. It's That's... fantastic. I'll show you how. The show at the... <laughs> Some of them need it, don't they? Let's be frank about it. Uh, no, no, don't be like that. What are you saying? That's a horrible thing to say. Yeah, but yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. Get in there. They do. When, there's, when there's nothing... Oh, there's nothing more I like than a bit of discipline. Absolutely. Especially when... <laughs> when Maybe I should be looking at you for that one. Hello there, John. I thought it's my... Ah, uh, topping. Yes, well, that makes sense now. Excellent. Yeah. Mm, okay, good. Well, that's gotten a little intertextual and s and heavy, but that's okay. That's all right. It's Blood and charm, disturbing yep. stories for disturbing bedtimes, really mashes up the <laughs> traditional stories that we teach our children. Exactly right. That's and right. it needs a twisted mind to do that. Oh, especially thanks, at ten thirty at night. Oh yeah, no, Which ones do you do? I want to know which ones you do. Oh look, I do all sorts. I start off with a version of Hansel and Gretel and then I take the little match girl, which always, you know, the most depressing of the Christmas stories, and I make it slightly happier by adding an explosion and revolutionary war. Um, that's a lot of fun. And yeah, the show the show's just me mixing up lies with, you know, with facts. And then at the end of the show you'll just sit there going, Oh, I wonder which ones are true and then I tell you. 
I tell you, and then you won't believe it even further. It's quite a lot of fun. Have you ever done this? Obviously, an adult show. It's ten thirty at night. Oh, exactly. Have you ever told right. these stories to kids. Oh God, yeah. Have you? Oh, they love them. See, this is what people forget about children. Children are vicious little buggers. Yeah. You know. <laughs> if you if you sit down. You sit down, I mean, Grimm's fairy stories were originally just about blood. And if you sit down with a kid and you do this, like, this, this is how the show opens. It's just a lot of fun. Once upon a time, there were two little children who lived with their father and diabetes. One day, they went out into the woods and found a house made of candy. After eating most of the blood... After eating... <laughs> See, he loves it. It's wonderful. After eating most of the bricks, their blood sugar spiked and they fell into comas. Then a witch boiled them alive. They were a good source of protein. You still need vegetables, though. And fortunately, they were. There we go. Now, think about that. <laughs> Children love that. Children get so excited. Oh, are they dead? Woo! They're yeah. so pleased. Yeah, yeah, they do. Vicious little <laughs> Vicious little That's buggers. why nothing of Brixton's left. Um. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, little topical. Now, where can we see you? You can see me at the Assembly Hall at 10.30 at night. And, and that's a 16 plus. You're a real live why, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> I, I, we haven't had time. We haven't had enough time. No. But our producer is saying we've got to go. Um, you don't you have two shows. I'm just going to briefly right, that's right. Um, announce them, just because you can see for free uh, John Robertson's Dragon Punch. Yep. Uh, it's at 6.20 at the Laughing Horse at the Hive. That's right. That's but the show that we've been talking 18 about. That's 18+. Plus. Um, well, actually, <laughs> that's, that's a misprint in the guide. That, oh, show, that shows for everybody. The venue's 18+, plus, but it's not very well lit. Just bring your kids in wearing a hood. They don't know. You know? It actually works out very beautifully. That's a show where I go to a barbecue, and at the end, I nearly punch a man. The other show's a hilarious comedy about my father's death. Fuck, it's good. Oh, Jesus Christ. I meant good. Well, it's good. Sorry. So moving swiftly on. <laughs> um, Thank you, darling. Quickly, the Luton Airport. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Give yep. him a good hand. Thank you. If you want to see him, there's free tickets. Love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, gorgeous. Hey. Now, have we time?